folks, this is all the fruit, and here I am in front of the Evangelical City Church in the town of Ladenburg in Germany. Huh. By the way, right behind this house is the Catholic Church, but the Evangelical Church is something the Catholic one doesn't have, and it's a Bible garden. I must say, I expected something bigger. The other Bible gardens I've seen were like 20 times the size of this one, but let's check out what they have here. Silubum Marianum, the St. Mary Tessel, yes, this should be the St. Mary Tessel. Laurel or bay leaf, yes, this is the bay leaf. Here an olive, 20, 30 years ago it wouldn't have been possible to grow this olive tree here, but now it's grown in the ground, doing quite well. The last time they froze down mostly to the ground or to the thick branches was like uh, 10 years ago. 2013 14 and this looks like it could have been an older tree which froze down to the ground and yeah this looks like it could be about 10 years old yeah and basically it yeah 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 it kind of checks out laurel uh, sorry lavender also apparently was mentioned in the bible i don't remember where a fig tree, of course, was mentioned in the Bible. They said an olive tree, a fig tree, and the grapevine is everything a man needs to be happy. Yeah, just note that they didn't mention a wife. Basically, yeah, an olive tree would provide pickled olives and oil. The fig tree would provide a sugar and starch rich uh, uh, food, which could be like the olives be stored for a long time, the figs would be dried, the olives would be pickled or made into oil. And the grapevine over there would make wine and also tasty uh, fruits to eat. So those were like the three most important crops according to the Bible. Uh, Cicorium in tubos. Well, I don't see the chicory around here. Funny, I saw some wild ones, so they should be in season, but not in here. Let's see what we have here. Oh, a lot of things which are, well, we are in May in a cold year, so Majoran, Oregano Majorana. I'm not sure this is Majoran. Mm, let's try this. Oh. Mm, it is some spice, but I think it's rather Saturea Montana and not Oregano Majorana. Ah, here we have the burning bush from the Bible. In German it's called the burning thorn bush, but it has no burns. But yes, this thing is able to ignite itself spontaneously. By the way, the burning bush shown in the temple at uh, Mount Sinai in Egypt is not a diptam, it's a bramble. Well, here is... Oh, bramble! And they have a sign at the bramble, so the bramble was also mentioned in the Bible. Oh well, mint, isop, oricanum, syriacum, is isop, oricanum, syriacum, okay. Onion, well, I don't see an onion, but the garlic seems to be doing good enough. Artemisia herba alba, I'm not convinced that this is an Artemisia, but I think the winter stroke here pretty hard. Dill, well, maybe those little seedlings are dill. Coriander. No idea. Well, unfortunately, of course, a lot of people are stepping here. I think that right here a tiny little fence would maybe help. Barley and millet and stuff. Well, maybe they were sown here, but for now, yeah, this, this could be millet. It looks a lot like corn, but corn was not present in uh, Palestine in biblical times, so this should be... This should be millet, linen, wheat. Ah, so they also mentioned the round thistle. Interesting. Juniperus uh, excelsa. I don't know, man. This doesn't look like a. Hmm. Well, it is some type of juniper, but I'm not sure it's excelsa. <laughs> excelsa usually means and stuff but this thing is quite a low variety 
Let's see what else we have here. I don't think that this was ever mentioned in the Bible or that. Well, here we have the grape vines. They were definitely mentioned in the Bible. The Judas tree. Not even sure if the Judas tree was mentioned in the Bible or if it's rather mentioned in like popular legends. Well, the, the legends say that Judas basically was so ashamed that he hung, it, hung himself on one such tree. And then the, and then the 30 silver coins were scattered under the tree. The underside of the leaves look like silver coins, round and silvery. And the flowers became pink out of shame. The flowers are edible, by the way. For some funny reason, a lot of bishop sticks were made from this Judas tree. Uh, what does this mean? That the church is, the, the church is betraying Jesus, just like Judas did. Interesting. And also the stuff is very sticky. There is already some sort of mana accumulating on it. Last year I managed to collect almost one kilogram of sugar crystals, a type of mana, from one such Judas tree. And this year I want to do a couple experiments with it. Oh, but wait, there is more. This is papyrus. Well, it's not papyrus. This is not Cyperus papyrus. This is Cyperus... Um, I forgot the name. It's a close relative of papyrus, but not really papyrus. Papyrus is being sold in German flower shops, but this stuff is more common. It's a Cyperus. I forgot the name. It's in the same genus, but not the same species. Uh -huh. Black mustard. Yeah, this thing with the yellow with the yellow flowers should be the mustard. This here is Origanum vulgare or uh, Majoran, but I don't see a label on it. Uh, Nigella sativa, yes, this was used in biblical times. This looks like a day lily, but I don't, I'm not sure if it was mentioned in the Bible. A uh, Chistus, yes, this was mentioned in the Bible. Also apples. There are a lot of, there are a lot of those little uh, muscari here. Well, they definitely grow in Palestine and surrounding areas, and they are definitely quite fleshy in spring and the bulbs can be eaten. I don't know if they were mentioned in the Bible. Pomegranate, yeah, definitely mentioned in the Bible. Uh, saffron, well, I'm not sure I don't see remnants. I see a couple leaves which could be saffron, but most around here is muscari. White lily, lilium candidum, well, the lilies are not flowering yet, so I cannot see whether they are white or not. Rubia tinctorum, this was a, a popular plant for dyeing fabric and other things in ancient times. And yes, this looks like the original Rubia tinctorum. However, the, yep, the palm, this is not a date palm. This is... Uh, should be a cabbage palm. Well, I'm not sure if it's a very unspiny Himalaya palm. Those fibers here are very typical for the Himalaya palm, or if it's some species of cabbage palm, but definitely not, not a date palm. Well, tiny Bible garden. Actually, the Bible garden was the main reason to visit that city. I would have been disappointed if it was uh, if I hadn't discovered some other things, but there is also a Roman garden here, and the Roman garden is at the old museum, so I think it should be bigger and more interesting than this one. So, folks, this was the Bible garden in the town of Ladenburg in Germany. If you visit Ladenburg, you can check out the Bible garden. I think later in summer the things will be better developed. I hope it was interesting enough for you. If, if this Bible garden is too small for you, check out my two other videos about really huge and well-maintained Bible gardens in the area around here. Apart from that, stay tuned for a lot more fruit videos from the beautiful and a yeah, pretty fruit-rich city of Ladenburg in Germany. 
And if you want to see more such content, it's not enough to just subscribe to my channel, but you should also press the little bell icon. That's because YouTube stopped recommending my videos even to subscribers. But if you press the little bell icon, you force them to notify you every time I upload.